Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. So this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising. Weekly tarot reading for a July 8th to July 14th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we can jump straight away into, uh, into the reading. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for Aquarius week, that is going to be uh, the Queen of Swords, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that you guys are to face here, that is going to be the Nine of Wands. Third card which stands for the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the Nine of Cups. And then the last card which regards to the guidance, the Tarot Club. I'm sorry, the tarot is offering to you. This is going to be the two of uh, swords. All right, so uh, once again, let's run the cards down. Uh, Queen of Swords is going to be the topic, followed by the challenges here of the week. That is going to be the Nine of Wands. Afterwards, we do have the Nine of Cups, which regards to the positive aspect. And the last one, uh, that will be the Two of Swords, <clears throat> which is... Uh, the guidance. Uh, don't mind that, guys. It's uh, it's my air conditioner. It's gonna shut up in a in a second. There we go. Okay. So um, well, it looks like queries that this week uh, someone is going to prevent rather disastrous move um, in your environment, either career or relationship wise, and you're gonna be pretty happy of it. As a matter of fact. As preventing this disastrous move, you know, also, um, how can I describe it? So you're not making that move and making another move. It is uh, where you are going to see quite a bit of hope for, uh, for your situation. No different than, for example, you're planning to leave your wife and a couple's therapist urges you not to do so. So you listen to the couple's therapist, you're avoiding this disastrous move, uh, leaving your wife, all right? And instead putting efforts into the marriage and see how the marriage thrives, right? It could be just as that. But let's go into card by card, um, scrutinizing the reading. So, um, Queen of Swords plays a role of a, a very in tune with the, with the present type of person, uh, a very experienced one, and as well very foreseeable from a standpoint that they do not, that person does not allow, how can I place it, emotions to rule them at all, and they are capable to see the situation for what the situation truly is. But the best quality of the Queen of Swords it is that um, this person who is marked by the Queen of Swords definitely knows how to push the situation through, how to prevail into that situation. This is why that is very uh, possible that this person is your business advisor, your therapist, <clears throat> your medical doctor, your yoga teacher, you know, uh, your 
a lawyer, for example, your shrink, you say that is someone very experienced into the field that you are struggling into the field that you are about to make a disastrous move. The accompanied card here is going to be the, uh, the um, Empress card. And this is another confirmation that that is your professional help. Okay, the formation, it is a um, active, um, active enemies, I'm sorry. And uh, to be fair, that person does not care how you feel. They do not care, you know, um, how you're going to take on their advice. It is just they do care only for that, that they're obliged to tell you what they think, to tell you what they think that you should do, you know, and to tell you uh, how they see you in the future as well. It could be as well your psychic, all right? But the thing here, it is that there won't be a shred of sympathy uh, in the sense of that they, they, they does not commiserate on your plight. And that actually it's very positive in your case because instead of they holding your hand by, by being a bit, of, a, a bit rough in your face, shoving you know, that information in, in your face, they're going to make you wake up and aware and, and, and stop doing you know, these uh, very how can I place it? Not stupid, but I would use the word again, disastrous moves that you are about to do probably out of an, an emotional uh, standpoint. So the challenge uh, here, it is the nine of wands. And the challenge itself regards to you uh, fitting into the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, making the necessary uh, readaptations for yourself in order to take advantage or in order to execute that piece of advice, you know, or a piece of information that this person, Queen of Swords, gives you. Uh, this is something that I used before, you know, as in a sentence, but let's say recipe of uh, recipe of success upon a situation that, by the way, guys, you may not necessarily want to succeed in, right? Because let's say that this is about your marriage and your marriage is going into ruin. This woman here, it could be as well, as well a male, tells you that, you know, you can save your marriage if you do this, this, and this. Well, you may not care about your marriage. You may say, well, the hell with it. Let's, let's, let's go to shit. I don't, I don't really care. Or it could be, for example, that you do have a health issue, all right? And that is your therapist. They tell you, look, man, you have to stop eating fat. You have to stop drinking. You have to stop smoking. You may say, well, the hell with it. I, I cannot stop doing these things. As a matter of fact, I do have a friend like this who does not care about his health. I mean, he says that if he is going to die, he's going to die from eating and drinking and he's going. He's in peace with it, all right? At least he, he says that at least I know that I haven't died from being hit by a car or something like that, okay? So there are such people. That's why I'm covering as well such of a... Um, uh, such a way an interpretation, but the point is that you're going to struggle fitting in these new criteria. That is going to be the challenge here, recognizing that you cannot be like this anymore if you want to either improve your health, to either improve your marriage, to either improve your career, and etc. etc. So it's not going to be an easy transition, it's not going to be an easy transformation. The accompanied card here is going to be the Tree of uh, Pentacles. And the formation, it is a active neutrals. So even though, um, how can I describe it? Even though you are to, to, to see sense in behind the words of the Queen of Swords here, of that person, which guides you toward um, improving your circumstances, still you are going to be, how can I place it, uh, accompanied with this feeling of, of disbelief. Or it's not like disbelief, but like a conviction that. It can be achieved in a different way, but you're not having to sacrifice, you know, things that you want to do, a lifestyle, um, a, a performance, and uh, and etc. etc. So this adds up in an additional challenge here because you know it's no different than, for example, uh, if we're following here the uh, the medical issue, so that therapist tells you that you have to stop smoking, that you have to stop. Uh, drinking and so on and so forth and you may say well if I don't stop smoking and drinking then maybe I can compensate with pills all right so let's start taking pills and continue on smoking and drinking it's more like uh, having that um, how do you say it um, having that impression 
that these results that this person promises to you, should you follow their advice, can be achieved uh, without you sacrificing anything, but instead taking alternative routes, which may be possible, but not at that stage. So the positive aspect here of the week is going to be the Nine of Cups, and that is a conditional card in this case, and it is only if you start following the Queen of Swords advice. And the card points that you're gonna see results pretty much straight away, and actually you're going to be quite amazed by, the, the, by those results, it's just they, they just gonna blow your mind. And uh, uh, that will fill your environment and life with content, with um, sensual joy as well, exhilaration, you know, and uh, uh, for example, if your dream is to be healthy, you are going to start seeming, seeing your dream comes true. If your dream is to have a better marriage, you're going to see how your marriage is getting better. If your dream is to be with someone, you're going to see that now there is a progress into it. However, with the Nine of uh, Cups, it is very important to be said that these achievements are going to be just a temporary achievement should you not place the necessary performance and efforts as well to secure those achievements and uh, convert the short-term progress into a, a long-term one. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ace of Wands. The formation, it is a uh, uh, active friends, uh, active enemies, uh, passive enemies, excuse me. It's just I am recording for quite a long time, guys. So active enemies is what we do have here, and they speak for consistency. As soon as you see results, you're going to convince yourself, or they will be enough to convince you that that is the right way how you should move on forward. And here it is where the doubt you have that there could be another way, you know, more cheaper way, let's say, or kind of like cutting away, cutting corners to uh, to get to where you want to be, it's it's not existent. Well, it may be existent, but it comes with a much higher cost than this one. <clears throat> and by seeing progress and results, that will pretty much set you on a, a straight path to completely focus upon that goal. And it's not going to be a chore as simple as that, all right? It's just that you are going to accept it as a part of you, for what it seems. So the last one that we do have in regards to the guidance that the Tarot is offering to you, and that is going to be the Two of Swords. And that regards to your uh, initial doubts that you may have into the information that the Queen of Swords divulged to you, because the, the Two of Swords here points that it's gonna be very different. I mean, it's it's uh, another thing that's gonna blow your mind it is what that, that shrink therapist, you know, a professional help that you're resorting to is going to tell you, right? And you may say, really? I mean, you kidding me? It is that simple or it is that complicated. But the thing with the two of swords is here as a guidance is that you have to open your mind in a sense of that you need to understand that there is more than one way to look at something and not necessarily your way is the right way, all right? And because this person is professional, believe me, with this uh, with this reading and not just with this reading, but because they are professional, they very well know what they're talking about. And before you decide to move on with your own personal understanding of the thing, you should consider their points of view as well. The accompanied card here is going to be the... Um, Eight of Wands <clears throat> and the formation, it is a active uh, friend. And so uh, considering different points of view opens up as well different and new paths, new roads, new opportunities, new windows uh, for you to traverse, new uh, fields for you to conquest and in generally much more variety in your life as well. So from the cumulative impression from that reading uh, Aquarius, I do take that you just need to stop having, you know, this narrow vision of yourself and just listen to what that professionalist is to tell you. Try it out and you will be amazed how well it works. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 8th to July 14th, 2019. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other around. Until then. Bye.